And the last example using XSJS I will show you involves XSJS libraries. So the XSJS libraries, they are a special type of JavaScript that allows you to use reusable code among several other JavaScript programs. You can use it to perform simple and repetitive tasks, for example. To do so, first you need to have a JavaScript library with the functions that you want to reuse, and then invoke those functions on your JavaScript program. Let's see a quick example. So this time, we will create a new file on our XSJS folder. And I will call this file sample lib. That will be a library. So the extension for this time is xsjs lib. And this file is a JavaScript file at the end, but it's a reusable one. The code we're going to place in here is just a function. So we have been using the same function over and over again on the other exercises to demonstrate data, to show data. And this function could be reusable by several scripts. So this time we will implement this function. So this function receives three parameters and open a connection with the database, execute a query with two parameters, and then show the response as a JSON. So we just save that and create an XSJS to invoke that library. So a new file, I will call it once again, get pp list, but this time lib. So this is another XSJS file. And let's just place the content of it. I have it right here. So this file will be a little bit different because the first thing we need to do is import the library that we just created. So to do that, we're going to use this statement here on the line number three. And the first argument is to place the XSJS library path. In our case, the library is inside the B1E learning package, inside the XSJS folder, and here we got the sample lib. So what we're going to do here is place the library name, library path, sorry. So we're starting with B1E learning. Oops, capital L dot xsjs that's the notation we're going to use to determine the path and also here it needs to be the name of the library so the name of our library is sample lib that's it that's right now we are importing the library so that means we can use the functions inside this code so these are very simple codes just to set an ex state a statement and retrieve in two parameters and here when we invoke the function, we need to set, once again, the path for the library. So we just copy from here. So the path for the library. Then the name of the library, sample lib. And then the name of the function. So if you remember correctly, let me just check it right here. This is the function we are invoking. And that's exactly what we have in here. So we just save that and execute it. Once again, we need to pass the parameters. So let's say that's the VP type equals C and five, four records or five records. And here we have all of them right now, but this time being retrieved by the library itself.